Hello and welcome to the third section of our course. Now it's time to talk about the project we are going to develop. We will develop an API service like Twitter and we will name it Tweetify. In this part of the course, we are going to start sketching out our API. We are going to start easy first, but we are going to add new features step by step progressively. Now let's continue with the first video of this section. In this video, we are going to talk about the API that we want to develop. We are going to discuss about requirements of the project. We are going to discuss about how to do this task. Let's start with the most asked question. How are we going to do that? We are going to start with simple interfaces to retrieve data. We are also going to construct our routers and the middleware, so on. We will take an iterative approach when we want to add new features. Functionality of the API will improve until the API is complete. There will be users and messages, and we will build routes and controllers in order to retrieve and send messages. There will be a single route that lets users retrieve a list of messages, and each message will include a body, sender, and date time. We will create a database and tables that will represent users and messages. We will make CRUD operations. I'm assuming that you already know what CRUD is, but anyways, let's go over it briefly. It stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. But we aren't only going to develop a CRUD operation over the database objects. We will need them for sure, and we will make use of them a lot. But throughout this course, we are not just going to build a CRUD over HTTP, but something useful and valuable towards end users. In the first stage, we will build basic routes and we will add more features as we go deeper. These features will be middleware, authentication, content negotiation, and also file uploading and plus versioning. First, the API will be very simple and basic, but don't worry about that because there will be more features surely as we go on. In the first stage, we will build basic routes and we will add more features as we go deeper. These features will be middleware, authentication, content negotiation, file uploading, and finally, versioning. Now let's take a look at our project requirements. We need to provide an API that allows a user to authenticate securely. We are going to make sure that our user credentials are protected. We want them to be able to retrieve their own messages. Plus, we want them to be able to retrieve their messages of other users as well. And next, we also want them to be able to send messages which other users can view by another meaning. We can say publishing or posting new messages. And next, we need them to be able to delete their own messages, not anyone else's. This is important, underlining this. And finally, we want to allow them to be able to attach images to their messages just like in Twitter. But these requirements are all from the perspective of end users, not from a system admin or not, not from a backend side. Okay, but is it just about meeting client requirements? You have made your plan and your API is developed, but this isn't the end of the API lifecycle. Now, as you are the owner of the API, you are required to keep the API up and running with proper maintenance and appropriate versioning. And this means that we need to consider technical realities as well as end user requirements. This is backend, and backend is always the most important part of APIs. On this side, the API will need to log all incoming requests and it will need to authenticate users and protect users' credentials. Next, it needs to return the most relevant response codes. In many cases, there are multiple response codes that could be used. We are going to use the most correct and relevant ones, keeping in mind that we don't always have to be perfect, but we do have to be consistent. Next, we want to return JSON payloads that are highly useful to the end clients. And finally, we need to make sure that the API is manageable, maintainable, and scalable as the complexity of the API grows. This is the hardest yet the most important part of developing in and maintaining an API. They are very important from the perspective of a system admin. You can always go back and revise as you learn more. 
these these are all important but don't worry about the details of these requirements for now we will dig into each of them one by one later at first we are just going to expose the route data and at the first steps we are not going to worry about authentication content negotiation error handling and anything else along those lines we will cover them later no worries at first the api may feel ugly but it will get a lot better and in the end we will have a useful api in front of us